Hi guys, I'm back to do another uh, video on uh, Oak Island scrying. So, um, for you that don't know what Oak Island is, Oak Island is a small area off the coast of Nova Scotia in uh, the east coast of Canada. Um, it has um, uh, been for years and years uh, had a mystery surrounding it of uh, lost treasure and um, it had many people many well-known famous people come and try to dig in different areas to find uh, this lost treasure there is um, the I don't know if it's folklore or whatever but it's uh, surrounding there's six people that died in the seventh person well when there's going to be one more person that dies before the the mystery is solved or the treasure is found um, <coughs> What I am doing is I call it scrying Oak Island, I'm taking different areas of Oak Island. I've done some in the past. I've discovered what I think is a large ship underground, and I know and I scribed that last year. I think it was October, October or November, that I um, that I scribed for that, and um, yeah, it came up. Uh, it showed a ship. A large ship underground and now uh, just these last few um, weeks on the series there's um, a series on it's a and &E or history channel uh, with the two Lagina brothers that uh, came and started digging they put all their savings into digging and finding where this treasure maybe or something whatever is buried under the ground um, they're running into a lot of tunnels a ton of tunnel systems and that water system going into the tunnels and stuff so um, they're having a hard time finding a way to get down there they found some interesting artifacts from like the 1600s and 1700s um, even some carbon datings of wood and um, different things dating back I think um, 1500s so um, from my scrying that I saw in my previous scryings I've done um, the island has many layers and it's it's a lot older than they think it is. It's had like a lot of um, different histories. So it, for some reason, it's like a magnet to different um, settlements. Um, um, I think it goes back to the Egypt, the Egyptians. Uh, it may even go farther than that. Um, so there's a lot of different things down there. Um, it's like layers of tunnels. There's tunnels, but then there's layers, more tunnels. Like. Anyway, uh, the scrying I did this week was very interesting. It really came out with something very interesting. So, uh, the first scry I done was on the stone tablet. They were talking about that. That it, the stone tablet was in the first hole. Um, that the two the two children um, were the original ones that discovered there was like an indent in the ground and uh, when they told I think they told the adults and the adults went and they, they decided to dig <coughs> they found out it was like a it was a tunnel in the ground um, and when they kept digging they, they hit like layers of um logs and 
um, coconut hair, like the off the coconut that they use for packing and stuff in ships. Um, well, when I think it was what the seventh, eighth, or it was quite a ways underground, um, they came upon this stone tablet that was embedded in wood and it had hieroglyphics on it that they couldn't read. Well, it was taken and it was, I think, put in some kind of a museum back then, but then all of a sudden it went missing. So now they're, they're trying to track that down and it may be tracked down to um, some place, uh, Nova Scotia, that um, he thinks it's in a garden. So anyway, I thought, well, okay, we'll try to scry that. So what came out for me for the tablet was um, it shows a man with a very, very heavy mustache, a possibly bald possibly bald, big eyes. He's looking into the past, so I don't know what that means, but he's looking into the past. He has, <coughs> he has a beard, like a curly beard, but the very, very distinctive mustache, very heavy, thick mustache. Um, I did take a picture, and I, I'll try to insert it in the video. When I upload, I don't know if I can or not, but, and I know if I show you, I don't think you're going to be able to see it, but this is the mustache right here. It's a very heavy, heavy mustache, and the eyes, the eyes right there, he has a, a beard. And also, um, the number five was very distinctive that came out something relating to the tablet and the number five so it could be maybe the month of may uh, i'm not sure just you may find it in may i don't know it's related to the month of uh, the, the number five the number five in numerology is also um, the number of humanity so it points to the human condition, human body. So it might have something to do with just relating to Homo sapiens. I don't know. What else? And also infinity. So it has like in, infinite, pertaining to infinite or infinity. Um, like the Bible, it goes on, it it's goes on forever, it never ends. There's a never ending, like it, it's, there's something to do with never ending anyway. It's universal, never ending, so maybe it's part of one of the tablets that Moses had or something. That's only my intuitive perception. So that's what I got for the stone tablet. Now for, for the swamp, the triangle swamp area, uh, that was also brought up today. But I think they're doing a area between the triangle swamp and another area they were looking in there. But I scried on the Triangle Swamp, which was really interesting. Um, uh, what did I get? Uh, what came out was like a bent cross. And it's not like a Christian cross. It's something that has actually been um, very controversial for the Catholic Church. Uh, people say it's a representation of Satanism, uh, deception in the Catholic Church. I did go on the websites to look and they don't try to defend too much about what it is. They don't even really give a good explanation as why they use it. But this was, uh, Satanists used this cross, the bent cross, 
um, in the 6th century. So I don't know if that's a connection with something on the island. Um, now, uh, I also seen uh, the, like, the letter S but in cal cal uh, calligraphy style. Um, so that's also, which is very interesting, that's also connected to the 6th century. Uh, Buddhists used and Buddhists used the calligraphy um, writing in the sixth century, and it's also um, connected to Arabic Arabic use. So that was in the sixth century. So it's all pointing to the sixth century for some reason. But this is what's really interesting: the bent cross can also represent a uh, an integral so that's uh, an equation or uh, something that's used in calculus so it's um, advanced math advanced mathematic mathematics and um, I read quite a bit about this. Oh, I can't find it um, What I understand is, it's almost like that island was like, that was created by some high, like mathematicians. They're the ones who mapped it out and how, how they made the tunnels. The whole system is like a map system. So it's not just a bunch of pirates going in and digging a hole. This was made by very brilliant mathematicians is what I'm getting out of this like uh, it really came in down to integral um, and calculus and like very advanced mathematics was used to do the whole tunnel system and that can be used to actually help dig and get down into the like to stop the water flow and get into there but also I, I got the impression this is my intuitive per, uh, perception is it was made that way for a reason and I don't think it's something that wants that if we do unearth it it's I feel like it may be a negative thing for us um, where I'm getting I think it's called a ferula the bent cross where it's a satanic something to do with Satanism Satan going in that direction um, I don't think if it was made that difficult to get into there's a reason behind that I don't I mean uh, if you dig in certain areas definitely you're going to find some kind of treasure treasure meaning historical items um, I don't know if you're going to find gold and, you know, big gold and jewelry kind of thing, but uh, you may. I keep getting, um, if you find the ship, you would find some kind of bounty. You'll find something um, worth money, definitely. But it's, that's not the biggest treasure that's not the biggest item being hidden. There's something hidden there that I don't know if you want to. It would change the world. I don't know. If, I don't know for the better. Um, there was a prediction by Nostradamus that something would be unearthed, and when it did, it would change the world. Now, I don't know if it would change it for the better or not, but this could be related. Um, also, Edgar Casey, there was a prediction by him also of something being unearthed. 
and that it would change the world forever. But I'm, I don't know, I can't remember if it was a negative or a positive. I don't think it was a positive. So, I mean, uh, I don't know. It would take, I just feel like it's still, it's gonna be a lot longer um, digging if they don't use some kind of advanced mathematics to, like it's good, right now they're mapping out where all the uh, boreholes are, where all the tunnel systems and the water systems are. That's a map from there. I think they would have to use some kind of advanced system to stop the water in order to dig and maybe locate where the main item is that they're looking for. But the triangle is definitely some kind of a key. Also I got um, perseverance. Perseverance pays off so it says continue perser to persevere through. Uh, it will pay off, but also be careful what you sell. I'm, a, I'm guessing like maybe to the museums or whatever, because some of those items will be key later to trying to find what you're looking for. So I don't know what that is. I don't know what that means, but something is will be key to finding something later on. That's what I got for my scrying this week. I found it very interesting, um, especially the scrying the triangle swamp. So I hope you enjoyed this video and please subscribe to my channel and share. It really, really helps um, yep, keep me on YouTube and um, grow my community kind of thing and um, I'm going to try to do more of these scrying videos as I watch what they find I will try to scry the areas that they're looking at that week um, now they're getting closer to the main borehole finding the main main tunnel that the original tunnel so I'm um, Hopefully be doing one of those, not next week, but the week after, after, after the new year, maybe. All right. Thank you very much for watching this video and leave a comment if you'd like, and I will see you again soon. Bye.